So Ron Johnson, a Republican senator from Wisconsin, Ron Johnson has come out and said that in response to the protests across the country, um, he wants to see more manpower and um, citizen soldiers used to uh, quell the protests. So in other words, you want to unconstitutionally use the military to wage war on your own civilians. And this is what Ron Johnson wants to do. It was unconstitutional when Trump sent DHS troops into cities, just so you guys are all aware. Sending them in to, to kidnap protesters, what? You're not allowed to stand on the sidewalk and espouse a view that I disagree with, so we're going to pull up in an unmarked car and kidnap you. That's what our, our, our federal police are going to do. Right? We're going to show up and brutalize the people who dare to speak something we disagree with. Right? This is even more. This is like... This isn't even an attempt to disguise it as, like, federal agents. He's saying soldiers. Soldiers. He wants, to, he wants to sick the U.S. military on American citizens, you guys. He wants to wage a civil war with Black Lives Matter. That's what fucking Ron Johnson is proposing here. You know, and it's a continuation of, like, like this is clearly Trump and the Republicans think that they can electorally benefit from coming off as the law and order pro police side you know they they want to use this like culture war electorally so and this is clearly a continuation of that but but people take it seriously they're like promoting violence they're promoting fucking violence you think some dipshit proud boy with his fucking assault rifle isn't gonna now go to kenosha just like this kyle rittenhouse did Of course that of course that kind of rhetoric the same the same way that Trump's rhetoric you know pushes violence it's the same deal and then you see you know Joe Biden's response to all this kind of stuff is is basically i agree except i don't want to be as crazy about the language right biden's like more funding for police but i'm going to pretend i'm on the side of black lives matter as a politician who spent my entire career opposing civil rights as a politician who spent my entire career opposing policies that would help the black community, I'm going to pretend that I'm on your side. Right? At least Ron Johnson doesn't lie about it. <laughs> I guess you got to give him some credit. At least the Republicans are like, we're on the side of the rich and fuck Black Lives Matter. The Democrats are like, yeah, fuck, fuck Black Lives Matter. But we're on the side of Black Lives Matter. Right? Not in practice, just in rhetoric. Not in policy, just in theater. Right. I mean, at least Ron Johnson just kind of, yeah, I'm opposed to the First Amendment and the Fourth Amendment, and I think we should sick the military on our own constituents. Wow. Wow. Can you imagine if a Democrat said that about um, some far, like, like, we need to send the Navy in to deal with the Trump boat protests. <laughs> Citizen Navy. <laughs> so insane. So insane. So um, this is obviously worth covering because it's brazenly authoritarian and uh, a continuation of Republicans claiming to be, we hate big government, but we want to use big government to squash anything we disagree with. We hate big government, but we support the state killing people that are unarmed. Incoherent. Incoherent. Ron Johnson is an authoritarian maniac. So hopefully he loses his seat. I don't know when his seat is up, but Wisconsin is a swing state. I'd love to see a progressive come in and take that authoritarian maniac out of office.